Hey guys, it's Night Horror here with Tabbed Out Gaming. Today we're going to talk about the quickest way to make stealing easier for you, and that is with gear. I know there are a lot of new people out there, when you start the game, you have no idea what all the sets are, and there's so many of them. There's many of them that can help you with stealth, and we're going to talk about those today. By the end of the video, you're going to be running around Tamriel like a crazy person, stealing and murdering to your heart's content. Before we get into it, some of you guys may have noticed that the channel name has recently changed from Night Horror Gaming. Uh, that is because we are partnering with some awesome creators, and we're going to be working on bringing you guys some more high-quality but diversified content. So everything from veteran hard mode trial guides to housing videos is what we've got planned. It's going to take us some time. We're just getting started, so be patient if you can. And uh, if you want to see what we're going to be bringing you, hit the subscribe button, and uh, it'll keep you in the loop. The bell icon will give you an update whenever we're posting new videos. Discord and website will also be coming soon. But with no further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the first two sets we're going to talk about today, one is a crafted set and that is night silence and the second is shadows dancers raiment which you can see here so both will give you the same five piece bonus they will allow you to ignore the movement speed penalty of stealth and that's super nice when you're first starting out there is a better way to do this but i'll talk about that a little bit later for right now if you can't get shadow dancer you can get this again it drops overworld and green shade so you can go farm it yourself you can easily buy it for really cheap from from a guild trader if you ever see any of the sets i recommend to you for sale for a really high gold piece amount someone's trying to get one over on you they're really easy to get you can get them from doing dells world bosses dolmens plenty of ways treasure chests plenty of ways to do it if you need to get it yourself or you should be able to find it from a, a guild trader 10k for a weapon and you know a few k maybe five at the most for a body piece or, or a ring or something like that rings cost a little bit more because they could be deconned but again it should be pretty cheap so the reason main reason though you take these is for the five piece bonus a lot of times people will say oh you know i'm a mad character uh you know i, I don't want to get this thing that gives me stam or i'm a stam character i don't want to get this thing to give me mag when you're stealing it, it's not really a big deal you're only going to be killing these npcs that have almost no health and honestly if you're a mag character, you're going to want more stamp because you've put all your points into mag, so you have plenty of it for stealing, and vice versa if you're a stam character. So Shadow Dancer here is really nice because it gives you both, uh, at least for the recovery. And so, you know, do whatever you want, but uh, it, it's only a temporary thing and you shouldn't have a problem. The extra mag here, though, will help you spam Shadowy Disguise to make sure you get away. And so if you're a Stam character, you're already going to be a little low on mag, and that can help you out a lot. So now let's talk about some of the more advanced sets. Night Terror. This set is really nice because you'll see the three-piece bonus is really what we're going for here. And with some of the other sets, you only get this as a five-piece bonus. So it lets you reduce the radius you can be detected by two meters, and it reduces the cost of sneak by 25%. The, the reduced cost is really nice, especially if you're a mag character, because if you're running around a lot, it will drain your stamina pretty quickly, and you can run out. If you're a stam character, you probably don't need to worry about it. But again, the sneak radius, that's really what we're looking for, and you only need three pieces. I'm going to show you something cool you can do with this a little bit later, since it is only three pieces. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the next set. Oh, I'm sorry. This is available Overworld in Stormhaven, and again, you can purchase it from a guild trader. All right, this set here is a honorable mention. So if you can't find any Night Terror, you can go with Night Mother's Embrace. It drops Overland and Deshaun. That is, Deshaun is normally farmed for Mother Sorrow, which is the best in slot mag DPS set for PvE. And so a lot of people end up with the Night Mother's Embrace set. So again, you can find it for really cheap. And while you can min-max a little bit with what I'm gonna show you later on, you know, this will get you most of the way there. So uh, five piece bonus, reduce your detection radius and reduces the cost of sneak can't go wrong all right here it is the must-have set darlock bray this set is amazing so not only does it give you magic and stam recovery there with the two and three piece bonus four piece bonus reduces your detection radius by two meters and gives you another reduced sneak cost there and then the five piece bonus while crouching and not blocking, you restore 680 magicka and stamina and heal for the same amount. What this will allow you to do is when you're running from guards and you're having to spam shadowy disguise and you're hitting race against time or one of your path abilities to increase your speed, 
you're not going to run out of Magicka. You're not going to run out of stamina if you're a mag tune. I highly recommend everyone get this set. It is available overworld in Elsewhere. And so I highly recommend it. You can go farm it. A lot of times this is the one set that you might see that is a little bit more expensive. But you can go farm this yourself pretty easily and it doesn't really cost that much. So if that is something that is interesting to you guys, you don't know where to find it or you're having problems, let me know in the comments and I'll put out a video guide of how to get this set. But this is the one must have set. Uh, if you're stealing and you're running around, you got to have this set. It's just so nice to have. You won't ever run out of Magicka. You won't ever run out of stamina with this set. And perhaps most importantly, you, yes you, will look. Sorry, I just can't help myself. Every time I put on Dalark Bray, I think of Moana. So hope you guys enjoyed that. All right, so you, I told you with those first couple of sets that they're good for beginners. And the reason is because eventually you won't need them anymore. If you become a vampire and you take the Dark Stalker passive here, which unlocks at rank three, by the way, and you only need one point in it. So it's really easy to get because the first couple ranks go really fast. It allows you to ignore the movement seed penalty of sneak entirely. And so that replaces an entire five piece set with just one point and some passive. So if you're at all okay with the, the RP of it, if you think being a vampire is cool, or if you're apathetic, I highly recommend that you go become a vampire. You don't need to, you know, if, if you don't like the RP of it, it's not a big deal to keep one of those five piece sets where that and Darlock Bray and you'll be set. But if you want to min max, or if you just like the idea, like I do, I think vampires are super fun. They've been fun since Daggerfall. I've been playing a, a, a vampire, um, at least on one of my characters. So uh, again, I highly recommend it. And then the last thing we're going to have here, if, you, if you've leveled your antiquities, Ring of the Wild Hunt. This is so nice for running around. It's so nice from getting away from guards. You can see just how fast I am here running around. And you don't really have to deal with deal with guards. You can kind of make a mad and you can run away stealth and they're just never going to be able to catch you. Look at that. Never going to be able to catch us. And just to show you my resources here, look, I can just sit here and spam. And my resources with Darlock Bray come back so fast that you're never going to have to wor worry about it here. So guys, this is the setup I recommend. We've got Darlock Bray here, five piece set. We've got three piece Night Terror. And then we've got the Ring of the Wild Hunt. Now, one of the cool things that I mentioned you know, earlier is that if you go with the Jack, uh, or if you go with Night Terror rather, and you only need the three piece bonus, what it allows you to do is wear a monster set. And so here I've got Veladreth. You could also do Selene's, and that would be a, a, a good monster set. And the reason for that is because let's say you do actually have to attack some, or I'm sorry, yeah, you do actually have to attack somebody. You know, you try to steal from them, and you just you just want to get want to get some from them. You can see there it procs, and you can kill them a little bit quicker and a little bit easier with a proc set. Oh man, this guard is he's uh he's trying to do his job a little too hard today, buddy. You, you just relax over there. All right, but uh yeah, the proc set can be nice uh, if you want a monster set. It's by no means needed. Uh, you could obviously just go with one of the five piece sets like uh, Night Mother's Embrace, like I recommended. So, anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.